all right so you guys absolutely killed the first part of this series thank you very much i know you guys were probably expecting some videos yesterday because we upload every single day here but just in case you didn't know i just ordered some parts for like a computer that i was building i started building it and for the first time in like probably the last 10 15 years i went an entire 36 or so hours without sleeping i ran into some problems with the build i need to have it ready for tomorrow something special is happening tomorrow which you guys will find out in a couple of weeks yeah i'm sorry i couldn't upload yesterday so today we're gonna try and grind it out thank you so much thank you for tuning in and today we continue with some more dying light even though it's not necessarily supposed to be horror it's still kind of scary i like that I don't know. That's that's just weird for me to even say that. But uh, welcome to part two. The whole time I've been feeling like this game, the plot's going to end up being some crazy twist. Somebody's going to get screwed over and shit's just going to go sideways because we're kind of playing both fields here. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Got to get a little bit more into the story to see what really is going on here. But uh... <laughs> I'm, you're awake. Something bad happened. We need to talk. OK, give me a sec. Okay, so choose your experience. <laughs> you have not completed the prologue and are ready to survive. Are you kidding me? The full Dying Light experience, co-op competitive challenges in Night Hunter Invasion or offline mode. Continue as a lone wolf, co-op competitive challenges in the Night Hunter are turned off. What do you guys think if I were to do this with a friend? I don't know. A lot of the times I, I depend on doing it by myself because sometimes people are not on like the same schedule. I will not lie. This game is one of the very few games that really creeps me out when the night hits and obviously it's supposed to be like that but there's a lot of horror games that scare me but this is actually not really necessarily a horror game per se or at least it doesn't really try to be or at least that's what i think for the moment being and it actually succeeds at scaring me but i do get scared very easily so i don't know i've, I've seen like people play like video games like horror games and they don't even jump it's like Oh, or they'd laugh at it or something weird. Like, what are you even laughing at? You know, those those are secret societies of serial killers. If you're playing a horror game and, and you don't get scared, there's something wrong with your freaking brain. Just saying. Okay, I think I'm stuck like in some sort of pit here. And I'm taking longer than I should. I don't like how if you click it, you stop running. I, I feel like that's kind of dumb. And it's something I'm going to have to get used to. Anyways, uh, we are here. Mr. Lee. Crane. First of all, you did I mean, great out there. Like From now on, if you need something, come no see way. me. Sorry. To start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. So I was gonna play this... ...port meeting with the tower leader. I was gonna play this... ...on computer, I really was. But then I found out that... ...it really doesn't make a difference. Like, the game looks almost virtually the same. Virtually, is that a thing? Does that make sense? It looks almost the same. So, instead of having to play it all over again and kind of catch up to where I was, I just said, let me just continue on the PlayStation 4. Although, if it was, you know, if, if, if it was better looking, it, it wouldn't matter. I'd still kind of just replay it to catch up. But I don't know. I just didn't think it was worth it. One game that I do have to replay now once I finish this is Max Payne 3 because... Apparently, when I got this computer, my save, my files did not save over on Steam. Supposedly, starting games on Steam are supposed to, like, have a save cloud where all the saves go to a cloud and then you can just import it. But, yeah, not Max Payne 3. Oh, shoot. It's all the way over here. What, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my God. Wow, that was stupid. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Oh, look at that. How cool when the sun goes right behind the cloud. And what, what is that zombie doing over there? Okay, hold on. 
He's got a zombie just hanging around here like he can do all that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zombie. Do you not know that uh, your kind is not wanted here? Hold on. How dare you disrespect my personal space? <laughs> I'm here. Hey! Yo! Sir! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I freaking love it. Okay, so first assignment, team up with Brecken in the tower. See, I was actually, uh, I was in the future. Now we got to go to the tower. That's what it was. I don't, I don't really know why I came here first. And I also hate the fact that we have to go up there like this or not. Okay. See, that's what happens when you presume too much and you talk too much. It looks stupid. It's going to shut up now. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryza's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake, you can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Oh, whoa. Yes. Crane will go. Whoa. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe... One more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Thank you, sir. This is very kind of you. <laughs> Jade, a moment. Sure. This is the typical... Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. This is a typical new guy on the block that nobody believes in until he does the unthinkable, the unachievable. Then everybody respects. There's something else. We need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't... I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. What do I feel like this is going to be a bad idea? Bad. This is going to be... Okay. Right, so we're going to head over now. Ooh, Mother's Day, new journal entry. Okay, contact the GRE. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. Somebody likes her. We'll go on the rooftop right here. <laughs> Crane here. Report. 
Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Man, they be just... sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. They, they just sound like such bad people, man. I don't like I don't like that lady's voice at all. Stay in touch. Good job, Crane. You're doing splendid. The plan is going as expected. Get out of my way, you stinking zombie. I don't got time for this zombie action right now. You're not see if I gotta go look for an airdrop. Oh, hi! I wish I could just hold R1 and this guy would just do all the jumps automatically. I feel like it'd, it'd be a smoother experience. I don't know. I just, I, I forget to press R1. It feels a little weird. All right. What the heck is that? <gasps> what the hell? Dude, what is your problem? Oh, holy shit. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. oh my god, that's freaking scary, man. What do you guys want from me? Ah, stupid freaking fungus. <laughs> what are these guys made out of? Oh, weapon is it effective? <laughs> There's a blue arrow over there. What is that? Man, this game actually looks pretty good on the PlayStation. The only reason I wanted to go over the PC was because of the frames of all airdrops and the motion the board. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. Okay, hold on. What is this? Okay, that's the tower that we turned on last time. <coughs> Okay. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the and there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Oh, snap. We're here. No, that's not it. There's a crate over there. And there's a there's a red house on the mini map. What does that do? What does that mean? Does that mean it's infected? Ah! Yes! You like that? You little zombie slut? these zombies are like wearing booty shorts oh fuck oh what the hell is that how can somebody explain to me how these things get on top of the roof like what the hell oh you poor bastard may your soul rest in peace oh somebody was here somebody was here this is it right here Okay, I remember this. I've got such bad memory when I play games. I don't play games for like Damn three it. days and I Nothing forget what here. happens. And that's an oak. Oh, there's another one, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I remember that. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Oh, God. All right. It's time to go, boys. Oh! Freaking crap! Oh, I like this music right now. It's a bumping. Sorry. Activate the light trap. Oh, that's what that's for. Get out of my freaking way. Oh, that, does that mean I stunned him when you get that skeleton thing? Okay, retrieve Antizen from the first airdrop. Some of these zombies are so stupid. Jade Rice's men got here first. Are you kidding me? Be careful with okay. that. It's empty. Don't try to it's find fragile. Them. Just get the hell out of here. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. She just said, don't try to fight them. The first thing I did was smack them across the head with a freaking steel pipe. 
Ah! Oh. Fucking hell! Stop! Put on some damn clothes, you stinking sluts! I'm telling you, all of these zombies have booty shorts. What is this? It's like, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. We gotta go this way. Man, it's getting dark. It's got no freaking meds. It's not good. Quinn, it's too close to sunset. You need to turn back now. Oh, what the frick? Jane, I'm almost there. I can do this. What do you mean? How are you going to tell me to get it and then now... Yeah, it's getting really dark. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Okay, can I just hang out here? Like, you just chill? Oh, frickin' sh- Okay. Um. I think it's down here. No? Where is this? There it is. Somebody was here. Are you sneaking up on all my loot? Stinking stupid. Oh, look, these, these actually have skirts. Proper women coming through. How cute. Stay away, you stupid zombie. You freaking die? Sheesh. The love of God. So one of them is open. I don't know why the other is not. Oh, that's a lot of antisem or whatever it's called. And of course, he calls his people first. What a traitor! Crane here, I'm about to recover an antisem drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antisem. Destroy it. What? What? Wh why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Wow. <laughs> no, you. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. Volatiles and return to the tower. Ooh. Oh, hi. Can they go on the roofs? No, but I can. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, oh I've got to avoid them. That's right. Oh, oh I can hear them breathing. God, this guy's tired. Run, run, Crane! God damn it, Crane! Get the hell out of here! Oh, they're on my ass! Oh, fuck! Oh my God! Run, run, run! 
Safe zone, safe zone. Can't catch me here, dumbass. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, can't catch me here. Yeah, that was terrifying. Night gameplay. Agility and power points are doubled at night. Escaping or pursuit gives you a bigger agility boost points. No longer you play, uh, the longer you play outside of safe zones, the more survival rank you can get. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. We are being parlayed. And that's not even an understatement. Brecken, come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... I'll go. You need to stop doing this, man. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? Is this guy on to us? I don't remember. What's up, Garrett? Catch you later. You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. You got it, boss. I will be your bitch. <laughs> That's what that agreement was. Buy Anderson from right. Dude, we just had a whole entire freaking thing. Ah, oh, it's so freaking irritating. Nice. Now we can slide. Very nice. Okay, and here we have... Uh, Elemental throwing stars and barter. Get better at haggling. Lower prices in shops. All right. Oh my god. Like we had three entire crates of those things and we just fucking burned. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. The question is, why did he steal secret documents? Why did he really steal the documents? All right. Let's see here. If we had more traps set in the city, traveling would be easier. So impact with uh pact with rise. Introduce yourself Great. to rise. Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rise, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but he was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I, look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Come back in one piece, all right? Why would you eat that? All right, so I've got to try and avoid those, like, things on the map, right? Because if I don't avoid them, then they're going to start chasing me and stuff. And that's when things start getting a little creepy. All right. Oh, God. This is no bueno. Ooh, what is this? We've got a nice little stash here. How is that empty? How is that even remotely empty? Good. Disgusting. Dude, this... I know Dying Light 2 is going to be insane. Alright, uh... 
What is that down there? Oh, that's the light trap. Hey! Man, this guy is far as crap, dude. What the hell is this? I'm actually surprised. I have not encountered any of these freaks to run after you. I think I've been looking more at this minimap than I have in any Call of Duty game ever. That's how freaked out I am. Okay, we're just gonna keep going through here. It's kind of it's kind of scary right now. It's very dark. And what makes it worse is these damn street lights. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. But I thought they didn't know who I was. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Oh no. This does not sound very polite. Alright, I'm guessing we're here. Ah, fuck. Okay. Don't shoot, don't shoot! It's me! Uh, somebody you don't know, but don't, Rice. Brecken don't shoot! Sent me. Brecken? That asshole on the tower? Alright, what does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. Alright. Let him through. This oh. ought to be entertained. Yeah, move out of the way, punk. You know who I am? No, you don't. Actually, why did I even ask? I don't. I don't know. How long have we been right. friends, Osman? We have been friends for. Very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left. <laughs> Was that my left or your? I think I remember that. You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Yeah, way to put me right here where this freaking hand is just <laughs> jelly. Well, I'll take that rusty knife. That's actually horrible. But yeah, uh, you can pretty much see that they have looting all the crates. I mean, every single crate here has been looted by them. Alright, let's introduce ourselves to Rise. We already what? We already did that. But we gotta speak to these guys. Oh, we gotta go in here. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. Damn, it's crazy. All right, so get your task from Kareem. All right, so this is actually very similar to our spot. Okay, what do we got here? By the way, do we have some money? Is this, let's see what this guy's all about. We have money, but Oh god, look at that monkey wrench. Holy crap. These things are expensive. Do I not get anything for high for having like the DLC or anything like that? Sheesh. You know what? I'm gonna wait a little bit off on that before I start spending any money. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? 
You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant <laughs> contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Okay. There's the body's chest. Uh, let's see if we have any other resources you around here that we can just steal from these friends. scums. And these guys are stacked, bro. Look at that. Sheesh. Hey, guys. Alright, so maybe we should sleep first? Or should we just contact the GRA? Let's see. Can we sleep before we start doing any anything crazy here? Yes. Let's wait until the morning. I know that nighttime is actually a little bit more beneficial. You get shit done. But ain't nobody trying to play at night right now. Especially. Right? Especially when you just started playing this game. So. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Yeah, it feels like that's all we've been doing so far in this playthrough is just fix antennas. I mean, this might as well be the uh, fucking FPL simulator. FPL is just like an electricity company down here where I live, so in case you wonder. Anyhow. Contact the GRE. This is it. This is all we are. We are nothing but, but, but puppets. <laughs> all we do is work for others. When do we get to become the boss? Of an entire civilization. I told you to put on some damn clothes. I don't want to see your ass cheeks. Pre-infection possibly. But not post-infection. That's just disgusting. <clears throat> okay. Gotta get up. Um... Alright, here we go. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. I wonder if we ever get to meet that lady. Who is that lady? She sounds powerful. She's scary. Alright, hold on. We've got more, uh... We do not have more skill points. Well, that bridge looks terrifying. Sorry, I just... I was just playing around, just came here to play around. Slap you guys up a little bit and stop oh, fucking shit! Stop! Oh, frick freaking hell! Okay, hey, you know what? Al Capone, you ready to do this? What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone. Not just rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Damn, that's nice shit. Yo, this game is actually pretty, uh... This game is pretty crazy for the time that it was released. I also want to say the more lights we activate, the more traps we can use. So that's actually going to benefit us. <laughs> I just love running around and slapping them like that. <laughs> Ah. Fuck off! Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, these guys are trapped. Oh, you guys are trapped there. Oh, no, you're not. Never mind. I thought you were. Let's jump over this Green. fence here. I'm at the first Ooh, antenna. All the way up there. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. 
Come on, what the freaking hell, bro? Hey, doofus! Over here! Okay, there we go. That's what we gotta do. Oh, yes! Yeah. Well, now I can do this. That's right. Oh, that makes it easy for me to fight this guy. Ah. Look at him go. Oh, you ain't that bad. You ain't that bad. With my new fun abilities. Fucking hell, this is bullshit. Because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. What the freaking hell? Stupid. I know it's ineffective, but. Good. Um, well, that, that's that. Fuck off. <laughs> Get away. Get away from me. You stinking. Get away from me. Stop. <laughs> I don't know how I got here, but now I'm stuck on a freaking roof. Oh, these shits are fucking scary. Will you just freaking die already? Alright, I think he's dead. No, he. Freaking. Alright, there's now. I think there was a female zombie here. I told you not to sneak around with other men. Okay, turn on the powers. There! The power's fucking on! Good. I'll head up to the top. Yeah, no, I can't open up that that, that lockpick. He doesn't fit here, right? He doesn't. I need to get a control of that. I need to get a controller that has a uh, rumbles on it. If not, I can't. All right. Anyways, let's go up to the antenna. Is there a way where you can like? How do you do it on PC if there's no rumbles on PC? You know? How, how, how can you pick the lock? Going up the ladder. All my weapons are busted. I don't even have parts to freaking uh, fix them either. All right, so we're gonna go up here, okay, and then up through here. This message here in the middle of the screen is actually bothering me, bro. Okay, we are going to up, up through here. Oh, this is crazy. I think I remember this part, like the tower part. I remember it. Like, I gotta remember the things prior to this but I remember climbing this tower and then shortly after is where I stopped playing the game okay we're gonna slide this way we're gonna go up through here yes perfect don't you dare fall we fall from here we are screwed okay so now that we're on top of the tower Oh. This is 
the ladder. Holy cow. Here. Perfect. Now what? Um. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god, we are so freaking high up here. Hey, you like the view up here? How's it hanging? <laughs> what an idiot. What a freaking idiot, man. Oh, shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Uh, okay, so I think it's just jump, right? Yes. Oh, uh, that's too cool. Okay, so we don't actually have anything that we can use to like kill these zombies right now because honestly uh we're not doing too well you guys doing here in these trailer parks and trailer park wars oh god stop i'm gonna climb up through here i need to start looting more man i don't know why it just feels a little weird looting because it's a first person shooter I mean, first person game i just i don't know like if you see my The Last of Us Part Two and The Last of Us Part One gameplays, like I do nothing but loot. And then in this game, I've just, yeah, literally done. Dream him at the second antenna tower, and the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Kristoff. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. Okay, how do I turn on? How do? Oh, fuck it. Oh! God damn, why are these so many zombies are stupid crazy? Here, I will kick you to your death, you stupid. I don't know what you guys were doing in there, but uh, somebody's angry. I have the hormones. This woman single handedly is about to kill me. God, what are you doing here? Don't you see him? I'm about to die. Look at this crazy bitch. Yes, I, I'm gonna take some of your stuff because God knows. I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rice. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. <laughs> I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are... <clears throat> I don't like this. Sure hope this fucking climb is worth it. Still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Right. Okay, what's the way back again? Here we go. Woohoo! Then just the flying zombie bird comes and eats my brains out. Oh, those are freaking bad guys. I heard them talk. <gasps> Fuck that. Okay. This is the warehouse we were at on the last episode. Raheem? 
the antennas. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Oh, Good that's job, cool. Man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zeta and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since whatever. See you back very at the tower. Cool. That's freaking cool. Wow, we've got another freak following us. If I can loot this up real quick. Definitely need some metal parts, man. We haven't been looting at all, and it's honestly really bad. All right. Is this Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. Wow. We just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, shoot, that's crazy, man. All right, new survivors. That's good. Let's see what this jackass thinks. Well, on the bright side, we're not going to die. <laughs> He's not going to kill us. The job's that's, done. That's now good. it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizen. Give me that damn antizen right now, mister. I right, chop your head off. I mean, the guy looks crazy, right? Typical tattooed maniac. Gotta show some respect. Hmm. Well, is. you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But... As I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. Damn. You just got roasted, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some skill points here. We're gonna go with the uh, crafting expertise. Get better at crafting, create more items from the same materials. Hmm. You know what? It's gonna go down the list here. All right, so guys, I think we're gonna end the episode here. If you guys want the dying light to continue here on the channel, let me know in the comments, drop it a like. I hope you enjoyed your stay. And as always, stay sexy.